No doubt about it. Mother Nature got our attention earlier on this afternoon when it zapped our power for a short time. The generator had to kick in, so we definitely know that uh, storms are a factor tonight. And they kicked up pretty quick, Aaron, and depending on where you live, you probably saw some severe weather. Yeah, this is very summertime, summer-like weather for us, uh, For uh, very early for this time of year. Usually we don't see this stuff until about June or July, but th there was definitely some rumbles of thunder out there today, even some strong gusty winds. You saw that eyewitness video earlier today. We've still got some showers and thunderstorms showing up on Fox Radar 3D, mainly just some scattered stuff at this point. Let's go to that, and you can see right now we've got some very light rain moving across parts of the upstate at this point. Very light showers starting to move across parts of Spartanburg County, even down toward the southeastern part of the county, over toward Union County as well. And then we've still got a pretty nasty thunderstorm right on the Madison uh, Yancey County line, right down through here through Hamrick. This uh, severe thunderstorm has a warning on it until 645 tonight. But the good news is these storms will start to wind down as we go further into the evening. You can see right now at USC Upstate, all dry at this point. A little wind out of the northeast at 2 miles an hour, 83 degrees, the current temperature right now. Temperatures really cooled down very quickly if a thunderstorm moved over. You can see where Clemson didn't have any rain. Anderson didn't have any rain. Greenwood certainly didn't have any rain. Temperatures are in the 80s and 90s at this point. But where we did have some pretty strong thunderstorms move through, Greenville and Spartanburg, 73 right now, 79 in Asheville, and 70 right now in Franklin. It was pretty warm everywhere across the south, but you can see right there that little pocket of cool air. That's where those thunderstorms fired up today. But look off to Montgomery, 94, 92 in Little Rock, even 90 up in Kansas City right now. So you can see pretty much everyone in the south baking at this point, and that's not going to change over the next couple of days. Uh, those scattered showers and thunderstorms fired up, putting out some cloud cover, hopefully cooling some of us down. But Pretty much everyone across the south right now is dry thanks to this big area of high pressure down to our southwest. And remember, winds around a high rotate in a clockwise fashion. So as long as that sits off to the south, it's pretty much going to keep any kind of cool, uh, cold front off to the north. It's not going to allow any of that to move south. So we're looking for another hot day tomorrow. We'll look for those scattered showers and thunderstorms again tomorrow afternoon. And temperatures will remain in the 90s as we go through the next several days. So here's the way the uh, forecast plays out here on Futurecast. You'll see we'll start out in the upper 60s for most of us. Then we warm up to about the upper 80s, maybe even some lower 90s, middle 80s across the mountains by lunchtime. And then we get up again around 94, 95 degrees in the upstate, even close to 97 down in Greenwood, middle 80s for most of us across the mountains. So for the upstate tonight, 69 with some isolated thunderstorms early. Again, those are going to die off. And then we'll look for partly cloudy skies as we go throughout the rest of the night. Then for the upstate, around 61 with some isolated showers and thunderstorms. Partly cloudy, winds out of the north at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Seven-day forecast, I told you there was a little bit of a cool down, and I mean very, very small. We'll be at 93 on Friday, 91 on Saturday, then down to 90 for Sunday. A 20% chance of isolated showers and thunderstorms. Again, those pop-up thunderstorms through the weekend. But then by Monday, we do start to cool down a little bit, around 90 degrees on Monday, 92 for Tuesday, 94 for Wednesday. And those slight chances for showers and thunderstorms pick back up for us here in the upstate around 20%. 30% chance for rain, a slightly better chance for rain across the mountains Friday, Saturday, Sunday with temperatures in the 80s. And then we start to warm up again close to 90 by the time we get to Wednesday and Thursday. The chances for rain again pick up for Wednesday and Thursday as well.